Have you ever used Google Maps and see the little arrow showing you how to walk or drive? The arrow is powered by vectors because it's not just about how far you walk, how far you travel, but also which direction you are going. Vectors are used everywhere in navigation. They help to guide ships, trains, and even your MRT trains from one place to another. In physics, they represent forces like how hard and which direction a ball is thrown. In video games, they control how a character moves or how fast something drops. Even in robotics, robots use vectors to calculate how to move their arms or how to navigate a room. In this topic, you will learn how to write a vector. For example, you can write a vector like this, which means three units across and four units up. You learn how to add them together, how to find a length, and help us to learn how to model movement, directions, and distance more accurately than just using numbers alone. Imagine this, you are at the East Coast Park and your friend call you asking where you are. Imagine if you say a hundred meter away, your friend will be like, uh, hundred meter away? Yes, that's nice, but where exactly? Is a hundred meter to your left? Hundred meter on your right? Or hundred meter behind you? Without knowing which direction, your friend has no idea how to find you. Just knowing the distance isn't enough. It will leave your friend stuck and confused. And this is exactly the difference between a scalar and a vector. A scalar only tells you how much, in other words, the magnitude. In this case, a 100 meter is a scalar, it tells you the distance, but not the direction. Scalar are all around us in our daily life. We have temperature in degree Celsius, we have speed in km per hour, and mass in kg, we have time in hours. All these give you a number, but they don't tell you which way anything is happening. But for vector, it's different. It's like imagine your friend tell you, I'm 200 meter right side of you, or 200 meter left of you. Then you know where exactly to go. That's what a vector does. It tells you both the magnitude and the directions. So for example, for displacement, we have five meters to the east. Instead of distance, we just five meters. And we have velocity. 60 km per hour towards the city center versus just speed itself. Force, we could say that is 10 newtons towards. And acceleration, we can say is 2 meter per square, 2 meter per second square to the left. In other words, scalar just means the size only, and vector equal to the size plus the directions. In real life, direction matters. Knowing only how much without knowing which way. It's like your friend trying to find you at East Coast Park without knowing which direction you are from here. You're only going to get lost. 